always seen me want to do these videos when I was Thor's Mars wash day. So ignore that my hair looks like crap. Um, I'm going to try to do a before and after um, watching Taylor Swift's documentary about her eating disorder. Um, I remember coming or when she first came out, she was younger, you know, than me by a little. And I thought it was so cool that someone had, you know, the same hair as me and wore it that way. And I thought she had the perfect body and the perfect hair and everything she said was perfect. And to find out that she dealt with a chronic eating disorder too, it's um, so many emotions, but it's mostly comforting um, because I looked at her and I was like, oh, well, you're just perfect, you know. Um, it must be nice to be that skinny and that perfect because I didn't notice her weight fluctuations at all. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought that she was just always naturally boy, and it's like, it must be amazing to look like that and just always look so perfectly skinny naturally. Like, you know, obviously she's underweight for high, but she, it fit her body and it's all we've ever seen. So of course it looks natural, you know? Um, and so I'm going to watch this documentary and then I'm going to post some thoughts after. Um, yeah, this is going to be really personal and really hard for me. Um, but kind of the reason for starting a YouTube channel is I just, part of it's to show my cute little dogs that are over there covered, but I'll show them later. And part is, um, there's just some issues that I feel like need to be delved deeper into. Um, when I was younger in college, I used to, you know, advocate for, against political apathy. And I helped co-found College Democrats until I learned I was an independent. Um, and now I'm pretty much politically apathetic. Um... John Kerry, I thought, was, like, the perfect president because he was just like me. He was a flip-flop. Like, he changed his opinion based on new information he would get. And that's so much like me, which is amazing. And I thought I'd be the perfect president. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we do... Uh, we try to make the best decision at the moment. It's not always... I don't I think he'd make a good president. Um, and then my dream back then after Carrie lost was for Hillary to run for office because it'd be Clinton all over again. And I was like, oh my God, my childhood, like the economy was great. Um, and you know, Clinton's one of the smartest presidents ever and Hillary supposedly ran the office and then she comes running and has these same socialism views that um you know that made me dislike Obama <laughs> because um I voted for Obama the first time it was first election I voted in and um so I thought I mean honestly it sounds horrible but I didn't think that either president was going to survive an office. And so I chose Biden over Palin. I'm glad that he did. Um, but I voted based on vice presidents. So the second time around, I still don't think John McCain would have survived office. Like he's super old now, but like the stress that a presidency, no, I, I just don't. Um, so, now we have Trump, which, Jesus freaking Christ, like, you're stuck with faux socialism that puts your country into a hole or an insane genius. <laughs> um, anyway, way off topic. So I'm going to make this my before watching and then I'm going to post an after, after either tonight or tomorrow, probably tonight, but I don't feel like that too. So, um, yeah, this is bringing up some raw emotion, which, um, 
actually brings me to something else I want to talk about, about eating disorders. Um, back, you know, when Taylor was younger and I was younger and they had the pro eating disorder communities, like before it was just completely hush hush. And then there were pro Anna Mia, sorry, Anna Mia sites where people supposedly tried to get an eating disorder. And there were people that, you know, thought it was cool to make yourself throw up or to starve yourself and thought that it was like some fad and didn't actually suffer. And some people became sufferers because of being predisposed, predisposed and um, joining the sites. And then there were some other bonds that were founded on that group that were so strong and so undeniable that I don't really think I know where I'd be without them. Um, on the downside, the only reason I know how to throw up is because of pro eating disorder sites. On the upside, probably the only reason I'm still alive because forcing myself to try to eat healthy would make me want to throw up and I'm not good at it at all. Um, I don't like it. It's not for me. I hate doing it. So it, had I not known that that was a possibility, I probably would have eaten less a lot more frequently um and i already had severe health issues this past summer that i've finally completely recovered from due to years and years of chronic eating disorder and um some people think that you don't get your period another symptom is blanket periods and ovulatory you get really heavy ones um and then on top of that, I got fibroids, or a fibroid that was there for like five and a half years, and then a rapid growing cyst. And they really didn't notice it until it was like almost deadly because my periods were always heavy. There was no red flags. There was nothing to suggest it was abnormal. Um, it just got to the point where my iron deficiency was so bad that my heart rate was so low my blood pressure was so low all my vitals were failing and I was normal weight for me a little bit below average um and so it was just confusing and um they couldn't find my ultrasound results and luckily you know the tech she wasn't was tell me but she told me that she saw you know the fibroid and the cyst um because when i went in they couldn't find it and she's like i recommend an iud blah 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 and my mom made me promise not to get an iud um i found out later had i just taken it blankly i would have died so um things happen the way they're met and i'm going way way off topic um basically Eating disorders aren't the same, but when they're chronic, they never 100% go away. Um, you're fighting every day and it like you can do it. You can have better, but when you start to, it reminds you, I was so happy when this moment, that moment, because I won't ever take a picture of my smallest, but like, when I'm almost there, I'll take a picture and critique it. And I look at those pictures and I'm like, God, I was so, life was perfect then. And you rosy retrospect it all. And it's just such a vicious cycle. It's almost associative in a way. Um, and that it's like another person, but it's not really two separate people. It's, it's, I mean, it is, but it isn't like, you don't flip a switch. You actually coexist in a sense. Um, and that's for me anyway, because everyone is different and experiences very differently. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to watch Taylor's docu documentary because I just got done reading the preview and it 
hit home a lot. Um, there's a lot of things I've been thinking. Um, and I've got my journal. <laughs> no one's reading that ever. Um, I'm gonna have it burned just like I had all my childhood fun toss said I, well I did, I added a little bit of fantasy into the reality when I was younger. So if anyone ever actually found my journal, they would think it was just stories. I even use the name like Taylor, Jesse Taylor Blake or something like that. Um, I have a journal now that's only been used in certain like horrible times, which I need to burn too. Um, but it has done the best job at describing living with an eating disorder. Um, you can recover, but you're the one that knows you have it first. And um, I, don't know, I remember being asked when the first time I noticed I had one or any abnormal behavior with food at all. Um, the first time I had any abnormal food behavior, I was three. I was feeding food under the table, clear glass to the dog. Um, apparently that day or around then, the doctor had said that my mom needed to put me on a diet because I was fat. And I don't remember that, but then I had, you know, your string of traumatic childhood abuse and blah, blah, blah. And um, seventh grade rolls around and I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever known what I look like, ever. And um, another girl that I shared with, she um, was talking about how her weight was pathetic. What I missed before was her saying she's going on a diet. And I was like, yeah, my weight's pathetic too. Like thinking, oh yeah, I'm, you know, super tiny, whatever. She's like, well, then why don't you go on a diet? And that was the first time I was like, wait a minute, go on a diet. Like this, like she was so perfect to me. I thought she was perfect. <laughs> and here it was, she probably was struggling too. And I don't know, there's so much to get into. But I'm gonna watch the movie now and post this as my before. And I will post my before or my after probably either later tonight or tomorrow. If I post it tomorrow, my hair will be flush. So <laughs> it won't look like, you know, someone died. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, here's my cute little dogs. That's Amigo. That's Ralphie. I don't know if you could see them or not. They're really cute chihuahuas. Um, I always feel so awkward making these videos because there really is such a self-loathing in it. Um, and I really don't know what I look like at all. Like, um, I just kind of take people's comments and I feed off them. And I use them to describe myself. And you just... I don't know, just counting it. So there's a lot of ums, uh, stuttering because I'm just thinking about so many things I want to convey that are actually important that I'm stumbling between words. So yeah, anyway, I will end this now. Eventually I need to learn how to edit and I will be back later with my after. Have a good night guys. And if anyone else is out there, that is struggling, get help as soon as you can. Um, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be raw. You're gonna think it doesn't work, you're gonna get pissed because they're making you bring up emotions that you buried and traumatic instances that you purposely buried. And you have to bring them up to get better. It's not fun, it gets worse before it gets better. But you can get better. And if you have a good support system, don't push it away. No matter how much you want to. Uh, I know you think it's fun to push people away, see how many bridges you can burn. And it's like a game to see who you can make not care for you. It's, it's really not worth it. And if any part of the actual you is still in there, 
hide it. Um, if you don't have an eating disorder, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you do, or you have, you do. So, um, yeah, I'll be back.